what, uh, with, with these two games coming up, it, it was such a convincing victory over Moldova away at the start of the campaign. Is the, one of the biggest issues to, to avoid any complacency on, on Friday night in front of the, the home crowd at Wembley? Oh, no, I don't think... I, for us, it's not an issue. I think we won't, we won't be complacent at all. It's, um, you know, that result, what we got away, was, it was a terrific result, but that's gone, you know. It's, it's not, nothing that we can... Um, we can take from that going into the game. It's 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 a whole new scenario. It's a um, different game completely, and, and no, complacency won't be an issue at all. I can assure you of that. You don't have half an eye on on the Kiev game and, and thinking yeah. that that's a pivotal one for us. They're all pivotal. I think you can't, uh, you know, you, you can't look too far ahead. As I said, um, as players, we think about the next game, and you have to, you know, this you have to put all your efforts in. It's it's, it's hard enough. Um, you know, winning games at this level. So if, if, if you're not putting all your efforts in, um, you're not going to do yourself justice, your fellow players in, in your country. So, you know, that's really not an issue for us. How do you see the balance of Group H at the moment? Is it is it two victories you need from these two games, really? You, you, you play twice, Montenegro play once. It's it's an opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, of course. It's 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 an opportunity. I think, you know, first and foremost, the home games is, is vital for us to, to go out there, put a performance on and, um, you know, come away with the points we want. It's... It would give us a great start to to the week, um, and then you know we we'll reassess after that. I think um, two two wins obviously will be ideal. Um, you know, hopefully we can get them. If if not, well, we'll reassess after that. You're almost uh, you're not the elder statesman, but you're one of the most senior ones. What do you think about Ross and Andros? Are they ready to take the next step? Yeah, they would. They wouldn't be selected if if, if the manager didn't think that. Um, you know, it's terrific for them to to be involved. Uh, both had a great start of the season and, um, you know, really impressed in training already. So they, they, they look uh, big talents and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're excited to be here and, and, and looking to improve and progress and, and, and be part of it more in the future as well. It's a different environment to coming into for the first time to what, you've, to what you're used to. Uh, it certainly was for me. and um, Yeah, I, was, I, I can only speak for, for how I approached it, but I was just trying to, you know, suck up all the information I could and, and try and improve myself for, for the next time I got the opportunity and, and do the same again and I'm sure that the boys will be doing similar things. So I see a, a lot of talent, uh, um, an awful lot of talent, um, you know, the, the boys that are in the squad this week, there's, there's so much talent there. Um, the under-21s had a great result um, in their last time out so I'm, I'm really confident that there's, there's a lot of talent in this country to come through. Uh, this season and, and f you know for the for the years after.